All right, you're back here with Petator Films. This time we got the GBO experience through my eyes. I sit back, relax. I hope you all enjoy. I'm gonna give you all a little bit of commentary this time. Just let y'all know all how right, I was we'll feeling. Start our trip. Heading to Emporia, Kansas. GBO. Got Michael Thomas, Matty O, Phil Tate in the road. We'll see y'all soon. Woo. All right, we got a little fast motion going over the Mississippi River. I've been up since 2 30 this morning. It's time for me to go to sleep. Alright, as you can see, there's a lot of fields. During the summertime, this place is full of corn. I mean, it's corn for days. But right now, it's in the middle of growing, so it's not so bad. All right, get in the heel sides. It's a very nice scene on the way there, coming from Mobile, Alabama to Emporia, Kansas. It's a very unique drive. A lot of scenery, like I was saying, very beautiful. Always worth the drive. And this is a cool feature, a little tunnel through the mountain. Emporia, oh yeah, finally made it. Two minutes, boom, made it to Kansas, Emporia style, baby. Time to get it done. Where the hound dog go? Hound dog poo. Chow down. All right, this is the Granada Theater. This is where everybody checks in to get their players' packs. Okay, we got the dynamic to the store. This is where all the actual sales go on, as far as certain discs. Then you have the distribution center. That's where everybody goes who's a retailer, team member, and they can go pick out their personal stock. That's a little bit bigger, a lot more to choose from, a lot of different colors. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, neat experience to be able to go through there, especially as a retailer. It's pretty awesome. All right, we're out here at Jones East, trying to get a little practice in. I'm not playing the scores, but either way, getting some shots out there helps out. I'm just trying to get a feel of the wind. All right, we got Matteo out there as well. Okay, Michael Thomas coming to play too. Looks like he's throwing a compass. Just a little bit more flat and he had it. Practice in before the GBO starts tomorrow morning. I got an 8 a.m. tea time. Just uh, trying to get used to this wind. Something new for us mobile people. All right, well, let's do it. All right, we got some first round practice done. Now we're sitting down, about to enjoy uh, some Mexican food before the big day. 8 a.m. and a 9 o'clock tea time. Boom. They say it's, the winds are supposed to be down in the morning, so. Looking good. Instantly in my mind, I'm going, 
Alright, this was a little pro panel they had. Um, people from Facebook, the audience, ask questions. You know, just to hear different stories and the way that some of these top four pros think. It was a pretty neat thing to watch. They were funny. Uh, right in the call. Get the party started. Time, baby. Ten minutes till tea time. Uh, about to get one more little lap here to get some my legs warm. Go to the little mini players meeting. And time to tee off. All right, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I see y'all about noon. All right, here we have the team trilogy sign at Jones East. Hold them. All right, we caught up with Matteo over here at Ope. Hole number seventeen. Cashing in for that par. Matteo thrown to the island on 18. Just needs to get it over the crest of that and be good. And he does so. He lands on the island safely, looking at a two opportunity. And I got a couple other members on the car with Matteo taking their shot at the island. So we had a pretty good run there. All right. I believe this young man was from Oregon. Oh, he just gets a little too high. All right, Where finished my round this morning. Shot 55 at Jones West, uh, which is three down, not too bad. But uh, now I'm watching some disc golf here with Matty O on his card. And then uh, we're gonna head back and get ready for tomorrow. All right, y'all. All right, it was really awesome in Poria. Everybody had signs out that said, welcome disc golfers. Disc golfers come in, thank y'all for coming, all kinds of stuff, it was awesome to see. All right, check it out. Up here in Emporia, Kansas, we got the rapid waterfalls. Boom. Boom. All right, this is when you go into the warehouse for the GBO tournament, you go through here and you get a custom hot stamp. You hand your ticket, you pick out a disc, you go over to the hot stamp machine, place your disc under, hit the button, and then All right, you're done. It's about to be game time, round two. Last one open. We're out here at Hopi Lake. Everything looks nice. Wind's not too bad. It's about to go down. All right, I'll see you after the round. All right, this stretch right here, I did not know at the time, but it was my last five holes of the tournament. Thankfully, I played them awesome. That last island hole you saw, number 14, I put it on the island on the pole. Got a birdie there. The next hole, I got a par four. Then the next holes, I proceeded to go three, three, two. I finished on the island right here. Great shot. With a park job of any kind I've ever done. I was very happy to finish that strong. Not only did it allow me to win my card, which I received a nice share <laughs> for that. That was pretty sweet. But I also ended up winning the team trilogy in the advanced field. Because of the default, because of the weather, it kept me one stroke ahead of the field for the win. So I was thankful and blessed enough to have a nice little strong finish there to be able to take that home. It was really awesome. This trophies, if you, when you get to see them here in a second, they are absolutely amazing. By far the coolest trophy I've ever seen or have ever gotten. Nice birdie there. There's my tap nice, in. Nice two. The shoot is 63. It was three up. But it was nice. It ended up doing what just what I needed to. Alright, caught up with Matteo and the groups over there at Jones East. Matteo on 17. Oh, hits the big birdie. Nice job. Alright. 
No, we were at the warehouse for the Swedish bonfire. As you can see here, they're celebrating going from spring to summer, I do believe, and killing witches. That's a neat tradition. It was cold out there, so this fire was perfect. It was just what we needed, because that was freezing. Okay, we got the putting preliminaries going on. If I saw correctly, Mr. Wasaki took down the final, I think, shooting a perfect, maybe? Something like that? All right, didn't do too bad today. Shot 63 out at Ope. It's three up, but you gotta check out Ope. That course is tough. Anyway, I'm shooting him right now. Six strokes off the lead. Coming back, baby. Tomorrow's gonna be something else. All right, bye bye time. Right, right here was the Team Trilogy trophy I was, I was telling y'all about. It's freaking awesome. Here's my buddy Mason McKay, Team Latitude. It's always good seeing him. Got my Team Trilogy zipper pull. And here's the glass trophies of all sorts. We've got some sweet, sweet trophies to give away. Yes, this, the Team Trilogy Award winner for the Advanced Division is Philip Tate. Philip, come on up. All right, Philip, well done. With the glass tower basket, beautiful artwork. I was nervous the whole way home transporting. Oh, honestly, come on up, bro. Team Trilogy! Slept the award ceremony. Look at it. Ah, taking it home, baby. All right. Had a good time up here. Glass blown open. Even though we didn't get to, we didn't get to finish our last round. You know, still shot shot pretty good. I kind of wish, you know, I would have had the chance to make up six strokes on the final course to take it all home. But hey, you can't predict the weather. But you gotta do what you gotta do. All right. Well, all right. had a great time. Rained out, cutting our trip a little short. Headed uh, back to Mob Town. Heading back Mobile. to Mobile. Mobile. You know, it was a fun week. Got a lot done. Saw a lot. Experienced a lot. Met a lot of people. Uh, got some little bit of hardware to take back, but we got some goodies from the warehouse that are gonna be nice. Mario hiding in the back. Boom. Boom. All right. Well, it was fun. Hope y'all enjoyed this. See y'all next year. Peace. Peace. Hound dog. Hound dog. Boo. Alrighty, y'all. That concludes the GBO experience through the eyes of P. Tater. I hope y'all have enjoyed. I hope it persuades you to give the glass blown open a try. The TDs, the volunteers, everybody just, they do an amazing job to make this tournament work.
All right, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all next time.